Welcome back fellow coders, Jared Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Win Backdrop Switches 2 block. All right, so on my screen, I've got three balls, a baseball, a basketball, and a beach ball. I want to make them show on their uh, respective backdrops. So the baseball will show up on this one, the basketball will show up on this one, and the beach ball will show up on this one, but none of them are going to show up when it's blank. Okay, so here's how we can do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, on one of the balls, make it so that it hides when it is on a blank backdrop. So normally you would make it hide using something like this. However, I'm going to instead make it hide when we switch to backdrop one, which is our uh, blank one. So we're gonna say when it switches to backdrop one, hide. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this onto the other two sprites by just dropping it on top of it, just like that. So now the baseball, basketball, and beach ball all have that code. Now, the code that I want to use for the win backdrop switches to is to make it so that the ball will show, then it's going to do something, and then it's going to hide. So what I want it to do, uh, since it's a ball, is I'm just going to have it roll. So it's just going to turn, and I'll make it do this um, I don't know, 40 times, something like that. So it's going to show up, it's going to um, turn, and then it's going to hide, just like that. Now, when I want it to do that, is using the block that I'm demonstrating in this video. So when backdrop switches to baseball one, it's going to do this code. Now the other balls on here, I'm gonna make it do similar code. So I'm gonna drop it on here, but I wanna make it so that this is for the basketball and that this one is for the uh, beach, Malibu. Okay. So inside of my backdrops, I can actually add in some pretty neat code so that when the green flag is clicked, it's going to switch to the blank one, backdrop one. And then I'm going to have a forever loop that is going to make it switch backdrops. So I'm going to say forever switch backdrop to the next backdrop and wait. Now it's very important that we use the and wait, and I'll explain why in a little bit. And there's also going to be a bug here. Let's see if you can figure out what the bug is. So we switch to the blank one. We got our baseball, our basketball, beach ball. Baseball, basketball, beach ball. Here's the bug if you can't see it. What backdrop are we missing? couldn't figure out. It's the blank one. So it's actually skipping this. Now the reason why is because this block right here and wait means that it's going to run all the code that is associated with that backdrop using this one. So the blank backdrop, backdrop one, doesn't actually have any code attached to it other than hide. So if we were to add a simple wait here to say, hey, wait one second, what that's going to do is when this switches to the blank backdrop, it's going to wait one second and then it'll go and repeat again to the next backdrop. And on the next backdrop, it'll go here, run this code. Then it'll go to the next one. It'll run this code for the basketball. And then it'll go here and run this code for the beach ball. So now when I press the green flag, it's going to switch to the blank one. It's going to then start our sequence. And we should see the blank backdrop up there for about a second. There it is. And no balls are on there. And we've got a ball for each one of the backdrops. So experiment with this block. It's a pretty interesting block. You can do a lot of really cool things with it uh, when making stories or games. And have some fun experimenting with Scratch. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.